Eleven local designers have been recognized for solutions that address pressing issues like aging societies and climate change. Winners of this year's President's Design Award were chosen from 129 submissions across disciplines like architecture, visual communications, and spatial design. Among the designs that won is this prototype marine terrace. It was created to reintegrate stay-alone elderly back into the community and put a fresh spin on the idea of aging in place. The designs also incorporate innovative and impactful solutions to shine the spotlight on issues like underserved communities, as well as climate change and sustainability. For more, we're joined by our husband and wife architect team who've been named as the Sears Designer of the Year. Ku Peng Beng and Belinda Huang, directors at Arc Studio Architecture Plus Urbanism. And thank you both for joining us. Uh, Peng Beng, firstly, uh, the two of you conceptualized Pinnacle at Duxton and the Tembusu, both award-winning designs incorporating vertical connectivity and community living. Uh, what was the inspiration? Well, we draw our inspiration from as many sources and contexts as possible, from history, architectural theory, science, art, and most of all, from nature. Uh, we take all of this context and try to find design solutions in between all the different sources of inspiration. The facade of the Pinnacle at Duxton, for example, was inspired by DNA sequencing and the movie The Matrix. But we also have to work with prefabrication technology and the different preferences of the stakeholders, whether it's planters or balconies. And Tembusu was inspired by the origin of the land as a garment factory and the low-rise surroundings. Uh, the idea of softness and flow of cloth in, inspired our design. We made the concrete and steel express and remind one of the history of the site. Belinda, so much has changed in this past pandemic year and, and also the priorities for design perhaps might change as well. There's been so much talk about uh, sort of incorporating effective ventilation, open spaces and, and maybe even relooking the need for offices. So I think um, in, in our designs, we have always looked at it from a systems point of view, which allows them to be functional as parts or as a whole. I think um, post-COVID pandemic, we, we, we need to look and leverage on technology, looking at um, air conditioning systems, mechanical ventilation. Um, all these are important, but I think beyond all of these technical aspects, we also need to look at the psychological impact. For example, in the Pinnacles at Duxton, there is a possibility of zoning the homes in uh, such a way that, you know, each group of homes can also have access to uh, the sky gardens if they wanted to and to maintain the same quality of living. Um, we see this concept of the whole lawn something that that we will uh, which, which will feature quite prominently in our work ahead. Uh, Ping Beng, it said that uh, good design goes beyond just aesthetics. Uh, tell us what we mean by that and what the potential is then. Well, more than just physical beauty, design and architecture can affect the way people behave. Uh, architecture can affect how we feel and how we think as well. It can make us happy or depressed. Understanding this allows us to create another type of beauty, the beauty of trust, of love, and of peace. We can create spaces that heal, spaces that help a community to grow. Just like all of us, we can't be content with just material presence. Good design and spaces can help us to connect with the spiritual essence of the space and time, and therefore to inner joy and peace. Belinda, we're very happy to learn that you're also mentoring younger designers. What inspires you about them, and, and how do they look at problems or perhaps issues differently from the older generation? Um, actually, one of the things that I like to emphasize, because the process of bringing designs to build form is a really long process, and it really takes the effort of many. So I think beyond just the skills of design, uh, a lot of us, or including myself coming out of school, um, you actually are short of relational skills as well. So I like to, I like to 
I like to talk to the young people and get them to um, think about all these relationships and, and the empathic aspect of design process is very critical. So it's important to hold the space where basically all can be honored and, and, and dignity up help for establishing the needs of our clients our, or the end users all the way to the builders. And that is so vital uh, to be able to design with love and with passion. Well, thank you both for speaking to us this evening and congratulations on your achievement. We've been speaking there with President's Design Awards, Designers of the Year, Ku Peng Beng and Belinda Huang, directors at Arc Studio Architecture, plus urbanism.